Behind the headlines, Alaska Governor Sarah Palin. She's been profiled in Glamour magazine and shortlisted as a possible McCain running mate. But Governor Palin also believes the GOP is in need of an internal tune-up. To the contrary, senior producer Joy Fallon spoke with the governor about this, her son's decision to join the Army, and what it means for the last frontier state to elect both a woman senator and governor. It was a pretty macho thing for Alaska to do, though, to finally elect a woman governor. Um, and I'm honored and humbled to get to have that title, I guess, as first woman governor of Alaska. You know, I, I think in Alaska, though, um, for the most part, folks up there are so aware of equality. I mean, I, I don't think women really are treated any differently than men. Certainly growing up there in a family where gender was no issue, um, we... We, I did the same thing that the boys were doing at the time. Title IX was just kicking in, so sports were really big in my family. My dad was a coach. My mom was a coach also. So sports and competition were really big in, in my family as I was growing up. And, um, you know, gals and guys today, everybody's out there hunting and fishing and hiking together. Gender, to me, hasn't ever really been an issue. Your son enlisted into the military September 11th of last year. Has this changed how you feel about what's going on with the war? Before it was so easy for me to say, you know, rah, rah, go military, I, I still support you. Let, let's do the right thing over there and let's, let's uh, fight for stability in, in other regions and democracy and protect the U.S. by being over there. And now that, yeah, my firstborn, my one and only son, and he's only 18, he's in a striker brigade, he'll be uh, deployed over to Iraq in a matter of months, it's really been, become more personal for me where now I'm saying, okay, still, rah, rah, I love our military. I support his decision. Um, I believe in the mission even, but doggone it, I hope we have a plan. I hope that we're not just sending our, our young men and our young women over there um, for any reason that at the end of the day would be futile. Your name has been thrown out there for vice president. So do you have any aspirations to be in a more national spotlight? Well, you know, I, I'm a Republican, and I think that my name has been thrown out there because the Republican Party is finally recognizing we need some diversity on a ticket. You know, we can't just have, uh, you know, rich old white guys on, on the ticket. Not that there's anything wrong with the rich old white guys, but there needs to be some diversity and different perspectives offered in terms of leadership within that Republican Party. It's, it's, it's so important. We're kind of missing the boat there that we haven't jumped on that yet. The ideals of the Republican Party are treating everyone equally, allowing individuals to make decisions, not a big government making decisions for you, allowing um, job opportunities for our families and allowing the income earned from our families to be kept within the family to spend as, as they deem most wise. Um, all those things that are ideals in the Republican Party and, pl and planks in the platform, they need to be articulated and really lived out by a more diverse group of leaders. You know, it's, it's humbling to have my name thrown out there. And I have to be honest with you, most governors, I think, who would be asked that question, whose names also would be um, kind of bantered around there, they'd say, oh, I love my job and I'm not even thinking about the future. Well, I love my job as Alaska's governor. But way on down the line, absolutely, I'd love to serve the nation somehow. Absolutely. I, I think, you know, no greater honor to have um, to be tapped to be in a position of serving, you know, the greater good here in the greatest country on earth. I would love it.